Hello Taurus, welcome to your weekly intuitive reading. I hope that you are doing well. We're gonna get right into the messages for you Taurus for uh, whenever you find this video. And I uh, just wanna say as I'm doing this reading, we are experiencing quite the influx of energy from a geomagnetic storm from the sun. Three coronal mass ejections have um, spewed off from the sun and are earth facing, earthbound, and are hitting earth at this time. So I'm feeling the energetic uptick and it can, it can ex be experienced as having a lot of caffeine or a lot of energy and then crashing and burning later on. Or it can also, depending on the energy you're running, depending on your emotional state, uh, it can also bring up, it can affect the nervous system and the cardiovascular system can bring a lot of anxiety, heart palpitations and things like that. So be mindful of your body, pay attention to what's going on. We are being pushed yet again um, to raise the frequency. Well, we don't have a choice. The frequency is elevating and uh, the energy frequency is high and we have to swim in it and acclimate and adjust to that. So without further ado, Taurus, let's get into the message for you. What is the message for sun, moon, or rising in the sign of Taurus, please? Keep in mind these are general messages, so take what resonates for you and leave the rest. Check with your other placements if this is not resonating for you, your moon sign, your rising sign, or any of the other zodiac that stand out to you. Thank you. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> So Taurus, right off the bat, <clears throat> excuse me, <laughs> the bottom of the deck, overall energy is awakening. So there are more elements within you, more elements of consciousness that are awakening. You're going through the stages of awakening. Yet again, we always are. We're always shifting and evolving and, and having realizations and aha moments. Um, the wheel is turning. As the cycles are turning, as things are moving, sh shifting, and changing, there's an element within you that feels stuck. It feels trapped. It feels like, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. I can't see clearly. And it may be bringing up some anxiety, some stress. Um, try to ride it out. Try not to control things too much. I think you're really trying, you're going with your energy, wh with where your energy is calling you, but are you overdoing it? Are you not slowing down and, and paying attention to what life is actually trying to teach you and show you and, and speak to you and give to you? Hanged muse. Because this is exactly what it's meant to be doing. And eventually you may find yourself coming to a, a, a slow point, a, a point where I can't go any further. I'm exhausted or what I thought I wanted to be doing is like draining the energy out of me. And it's time to take time to yourself. Take time to yourself because there are new perspectives that are coming in for you, Taurus. If you don't take the time to slow down and process all that you have experienced up to this present moment, you're going to miss the mark and you're going to continue to cycle back around the, the wheel, the karmic wheel, so to speak. So you've experienced a lot, especially in these last few months, few weeks even, and um, there's a lot to be, there's a lot of wisdom there. There's a lot to be gained, a lot of new perspective that is there for you if you slow down enough to really process and allow your intuition to rise to consciousness to speak to you and trust that as well. Things are changing and we're getting a, you know, we're, we're getting a, a, a taste of that change, but it doesn't, look good right now on the world stage it just seems like chaos but understand that 
We need humanity. The world needs to be shaken up a little bit or a lot um, in order for this metamorphosis to occur. It's happening. It's happening on a global scale. Don't try to make logical sense of it, Taurus. It will not make logical sense at this point in time. But if you trust, if you trust your instincts, if you trust your intuition, if you trust nature, that will help you slow down and really read the energy in your own unique way. Tell me about the wheel for Taurus, please. Thank you. Okay. Yes. They are saying, Taurus, to slow down because if you continue to go at the same pace and the same rate that you are accustomed to, you may be trying to, I don't want to say run away, but divert yourself, uh, distract yourself from what is meant to actually be teaching you and talking to you. You're going to burn yourself out and this can affect your, your body, your physical body, your mental health your emotional health, your spiritual hygiene, your psychic health. Slow down. Slow down. Tell me about Eight of Voices for Taurus, please. And it's hard. I know that this energy does feel like, um, it's, for me, it feels like I had way too much caffeine. And maybe I did this morning, but... Uh, even at nighttime, laying down, trying to like run energy through and slow down, my heart's racing and I can feel these energies. So sometimes we can use that to our advantage, but be mindful because the body still needs to have that time to catch up. The body is slower than our consciousness as well. Be mindful of that. Take good care of yourself. Why is Ada Voices out here for Taurus, please? I'm hearing slow down. <laughs> okay, why is Eight of Voices here for Taurus? Ah, so there is an innate instinct in you that your soul self, your true self that is speaking to you. It's speaking to you internally. It's also speaking to you externally, although I don't know if you're reading it fully yet. It may not fully be presenting itself to you, but it is showing you the way towards your North Node, your legacy, your soul's purpose on earth here. And you may still feel like, I don't know, I don't understand it all. I see all these changes, I'm going with it, but I feel this sense of nervousness or anxiousness, like I'm not 100% sure, maybe you're not fully trusting. Okay. Aha, safety. When we go through these awakening processes, uh, awakening in consciousness, it really truly does jolt us into a very vulnerable space. And for many, um, they begin to be very fearful of their own safety and survival, especially Taurus. Taurus is all about being safe and comfortable and secure. The Hanged Muse, the new perspective that you will be you should be receiving right now is all about um we have thoughtfulness with partnerships the gift that you internally possess is one of giving and one of empathy thoughtfulness um, understanding understanding other people's emotional states understanding that they the journey of life is not an easy one for anybody and that there are important people here on the planet that you are meant to partner up with collaborate with and share insights and energetic processes with um 
and I think that it's all kind of coming together, but you're still maybe not slow enough to really hone in on the importance of all that because of this concern about safety, trust. Do I trust? Do I trust this? Does it feel safe and secure? It may be triggering something deeper within you that you might want to look at at this time. Let's get one last spread for you, Taurus. Um, as I'm doing this reading, again, when we're going through these influx of energies, it can be very disorienting. It can be exciting for some, but for others that have a tendency to go lean towards being anxious and I don't know what's going on, what's going on with me, what's going on with the planet. I feel all this energy and it is very um, rattling and unnerving. Um, it's really important to slow it down, slow yourself down. Get yourself to a calm state. Put that into practice on a daily. See how you distract yourself from whatever energies are arising in you. We have the hanged man again. And a lot of times the hanged man can actually be something that you're not even intentionally doing. Because if you're not intentionally putting yourself in hermit, the universe will wrangle you up and hang you upside down. <laughs> I laugh because it, it doesn't actually feel, it's like, what the hell? But truly, this is a time for you Taurus to um, be enlightened and uh, let the energy do what it's meant to do for you. Trust, trust, trust that wherever you're at, wherever you're hanging from at this moment is meant to be. Nothing happens by accident. There are no coincidences. This is big people. This is really important that we take these things seriously because as you can tell, as we evolve on the planet, um, things are getting shaken up all over the place. Yet those of us who are awakening to our true nature, our true self, have the opportunity to, to elevate out of the matrix and create our own sense of safety, security, with the divine, connect to the cosmos, understand that there is way more going on than meets the eye and that we humans are not the main species here either, um, that there are other species that are working with us alongside of us. It's important. Okay. Surrender. Surrender. Five of Swords, Eight of Voices. Surrender your thoughts. Surrender what you thought you knew was truth. Because if it's in the mind, it's still programmed. It's been beaten down in you. It's been conditioned in you. Surrender to the divine to allow your um, your inner knowing to arise, whatever is awakening in you right now will begin to blossom and bloom. It's, it's just germinating right now. But if you continue to uh, run the rat race, uh, so to speak, or, or be the hamster on the wheel and do, continue to operate in the same manner without slowing down and paying attention, well, you've got the hangman twice. The universe is going to keep wrangling you up and hanging you upside down. And like, Taurus, let's see this from this angle. Let's see this from this angle. Reflect back. Let Reflect forward. Calm down. Calm down. Surrender. Surrender what you think you know. Maybe start working on a mantra such as like, I know nothing. Show me. Show me my truth. Show me the truth for me. Thank you. All right. I do see that 
you are connecting to the earth. You are connecting to your higher source. When you are hung up, <laughs> when you are hung up, you get the message. Okay, let me go outside. Let me gaze at a candle. Let me connect. Beautiful. Because the more you do this, the more you're going to shed old skin, evolve and grow, and up level energetically. Again, awakening, safety, four of wands. This is helping you find balance in your life, complete a cycle of not feeling safe and secure in this world fully, not feeling confident within yourself, not feeling at home within yourself or your surroundings fully. Like you may feel at home, but then there's an ungroundedness still stuck there. This is really helping to rattle this out. Oh, we have the, the Ten of Wands and the Nine of Swords below that. There's been a lot. There's been a lot of burden that you've been carrying, a lot of blame, a lot of shame, a lot of weight. And it's it's done a number on your, your thought. Like, this is psychic attacks. These are impressions in the mind of... Um, I messed up, I'm not good enough, I don't know what I'm doing. This is just all that negative self-talk and all that whatever's been projected onto you by others, you hold on to that and it's looping around in your mind. This energy is really helping you um, become grounded and in a more balanced state so that whatever it is that you're doing, you're doing it from an internal place of um, self-awareness and confidence. Let's get you some advice, Taurus. We're going to read from the Shamanic Healing Oracle to wrap this up. If you're liking this video so far, please don't forget to click the like button below the video, the little thumbs up button. I thank all of you who do take the time to do that. That does help with the algorithms here on YouTube. Feel free to comment. I love to read all your comments. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. All right, Taurus, let's get your final message here. Advice for Taurus, please. Okay. Thank you. integration that's it must slow down so that we can integrate all that we have gone we have already experienced we rush through life lessons and just keep on going it takes a while for it to catch up to us we're like oh this is what I was meant to learn from that this is how I was meant to grow this is why you had the hangman twice. <laughs> um, let's read it from the book. Oops. It's a number 33, my number. We are a sum of all our, of all our experiences in this and other lives. We bring forward a wealth of knowledge, talents, and wisdom. One of the challenges is remembering who we are. We are bombarded every day in every way with messages on who we should be, what we should do, what we should wear, how we should live. These messages coming from the media, society, our family and friends, and even strangers can drown out who we really are meant to be, who we have grown into lifetime after lifetime. Find some quiet moments in your day to identify and start a relationship with that small, strong voice inside you. Pretty soon you won't hear the other messages. Many times in your interactions with others, you hear that small voice tell you something is not right. Your logical mind tells you to stop it. Nothing's wrong. Stop being silly, dramatic, overreacting. You may ignore your inner voice. 
in a quest to fit in, to be loved or admired. You do not realize that your inner voice is warning you that other that the other person's energy is not matching their words or actions. Listen to your instincts about this situation or person. So Taurus, that is the message that I have for you today. I hope you find this helpful. Slow down, take time to integrate all that you have experienced and really get in touch with your true self. Whatever's been told to you about who you are, or what you should or shouldn't be doing, let that fly out the window and listen to your gut and your instincts. I'm sending you out so much love, Taurus. Take care. Bye.